So today we have a Fiat 124 Spider in the shop that we need to do a turbo replacement on. This can be a bit of a daunting or difficult task, so we decided to go ahead and film our progress and show you some of the finer points to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Now we have removed the intake system prior to starting this video, so be sure that's done before following along. Starting on the top side of the car, start with the strut tower bar, the wipers, and the wiper towel. When taking off the wiper towel, don't forget to disconnect the washer tubes. At the base of the windshield, there's two more bolts that are hidden by small plastic covers. After removing the molding, the two separate pieces should come out pretty easily. Don't forget to take apart the washer tube down the center as well. To get the central portion of the firewall out, there are two bolts on each side, plus two more on the inside that you'll have to remove. You'll also need to take off the two 10 mils that are holding the crossover pipe on the back of the firewall. After that, the central firewall portion should be ready for removal. Next, we'll start working on the bottom of the vehicle. You need to disconnect the O2 sensor and remove the crossover pipe, as well as remove the bracket that holds the downpipe up. So far, every single one of these has had bolts snap off that you'll have to extract later outside the car. Back on top of the vehicle, we can now wiggle out the catalytic converter with the space we've created. Don't forget to disconnect the O2 sensor. Next, gently push back the heat shield mounting plate. That'll give you access to the wastegate and the wastegate clip. Don't lose that little bastard. Key. And then that just shoves off to the side. Just like that. We chose to take the wastegate off now since we were swapping it out anyways. Not required for removal. So we got the, this guy there, that guy there, and then there's two more on the bottom. So there's a heat shield in the way right down there. And there's a yeah, 10 mil on each side. One of them is right, it's kind of hard to see, but right down there. And the other one was much easier to see, it's right there. Boom. There's your heat shield. Nice. So, barely visible in the picture there. Let me see if I can zoom in. That bolt, and there's one just to the left of it. They're both 13 millimeters. There's two on each side. They're on studs. So once you get the, the nuts off of them, that should release the turbo. So that's about the only angle to get to those back to. Can't really get to them from the bottom or anything like that. So patience and a little bit of dexterity. <laughs> Put that. Put those lines out. Ah yes, so. You'll see that a lot of folks actually do this by taking the compressor out to get easier access to the bottom bolts, but we felt 
we figured out that if you just use a ratcheting wrench and a little bit of time, it actually is a lot easier to take it out in one giant assembly. So while you're in there after getting that turbo out, it's a great idea to replace all the lines at the same time. Pretty much impossible to access at any other time. And there we have it. Installation is reverse process. I hope you guys found this useful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and check out some of my other playlists or hit the subscribe button below. Really appreciate you. We'll see you next time out of the track.